New 2018 Citroen C5 Aircross SUV leaked ahead of Shanghai Motor Show debut. First images of new Citroen SUV surface ahead of the car's full debut next week at Shanghai Motor Show. The first pictures of the new Citroen C5 Aircross have leaked onto the web, ahead of the new SUV's full reveal at the Shanghai Motor Show next week. Again, the pictures were leaked initially on a French car forum before spreading to online car news sites such as Auto Week, unmasking the design of the Citroen brand's Peugeot 3008 alternative. In terms of looks, the C5 Aircross sticks true to the design principles outlined back in 2015 by the Aircross concept, carefully adapting that concept car's chunky, airbump-led SUV design into production form. However, that's hardly surprising given the two teaser sketches issued by Citroen at the Geneva Motor Show suggested that would be the case. The leaked pictures offer us our first glimpse in the cabin too. The shots reveal a plush-looking five-seat interior making use of sculpted leather upholstery, while up front a large infotainment screen sits centrally in the dashboard. A flat, wide center console sits beneath it, and digital instrument dials sit behind the steering wheel. The upcoming PSA Group SUV will go into production by 2018 at its facility in Rennes, France. No firm details exist yet, but the car will more than likely be based on the new EMP2 platform, which means it will be related to the new Peugeot 5008 SUV, also set to be built at Rennes. The arrival of the C5 Aircross could spell the end for the conventional C5 saloon, Citroen is tipped to convert many of its more conservative models into crossovers in the coming years. We'll get more details regarding the C5 Aircross next week when it is revealed in full. Citroen Aircross Concept Details Debuting at the Shanghai Motor Show in 2015, the Aircross hinted at what we can expect from Citroen's forthcoming Nissan X-Trail and Hyundai Santa Fe rival. It's not the company's first foray into the family SUV market that honor goes to the slow-selling C-Crosser but the car is the first Citroen to feature plug-in hybrid technology. Beneath the cactus-inspired exterior, 2015's Aircross concept is powered by a 218bhp 1.6-liter THP petrol engine, paired to a 95bhp rear-mounted electric motor. This enables 31 miles of all-electric driving. The Aircross also promises a 4.5-second 0 to 62 miles per hour time, plus 166 mpg economy and CO2 emissions of just 39 g slash km. The concept is similar in size to the Santa Fe, measuring 4,580 mm long, 2,100 mm wide and 1,800 mm tall. However, Citroen design director Alexander Malville told Auto Express that a production version is likely to lose the show car's 22-inch alloys and slightly inflated stance. Familiar Citroen design cues such as the two-tier light structure and Chevron design can be seen on the front end, while the floating roof bars have been borrowed from the C4 Cactus. Citroen has also developed a fresh take on the unique honeycomb-style air bump design from the Cactus for a more rugged SUV. The air bumps can be seen on the lower section of the front bumper and sills, with the aluminium foam structure providing protection from nicks and scrapes. The high waistline puts emphasis on the car's exaggerated proportions, while the wraparound cockpit and gradually sloping roofline add a sportier edge. The rear hinge doors are unlikely to make it any further than the Shanghai stand, but they give access to a cabin that's centered around passenger comfort highlighted by the four-seat layout inspired by furniture design. Each cocooning leather seat comes with built-in speakers, which amplify other passengers' voices to make in-car communication easier, while there are two 12-inch HD touchscreens on the dashboard. These relay driving data, plus allow passengers to watch films, use internet-based apps or program the navigation. Content can be virtually passed between the displays using hand gestures, plus the driver can merge the screens into one.
A huge center console runs through the spine of the cabin, creating more space for those inside as well as more storage compartments. Citroen has added innovative storage cubbies in the dashboard and door panels, too. Bosses would not be drawn on when the concept would make the transition to production, but have stated that the Aircross illustrates the brand's international ambitions and that it's intended for sale around the world. We'll have to wait until April for our first look at the production Aircross with its C5 badging. Alexander Malville explains the Citroen Aircross. Citroen's design director explains the thinking behind the Aircross concept and what it could mean for future Citroen models. There's clearly an evolution of the C4 Cactus styling on the Aircross, will that be limited to SUVs? This is the first answer, we believe there is no limit and could use the style for different silhouettes. So, it could be sedan, SUV, or MPV. We want the customer to see that the Cactus has given birth to different types of Citroen products. Will this style become Citroen DNA? We are confident with this aesthetic and believe it will keep us separate from Peugeot and DS, as there are now three brands in the group. The idea is that each one will evoke something different for customers. Why did you modify the air bump from the Cactus? It's another adaptation of air bump. It emphasizes the body, helps to lift the car and make it more SUV. It has a more technological and dynamic feel now. Are you confident the SUV market will keep growing? It's difficult to say, but all of the studies that we do show that it continues to grow wherever you are in the world. But maybe it will change a new vehicle is capable of changing the fashion.